My name is Mika Moore and I'm the Sports Ambassador for IBM Me. Who are you? I'm, I'm Karen Dwarf. I'm a female boxer. I box at 60 kilos. Okay, Caroline. So first of all, congratulations on your gold medal at the Youth Olympics this October. How did it feel to be crowned the champion? Oh, it feels amazing. It feels good because all the hard work that I've been putting in from the beginning of this year has finally paid off. And it just gives you a feeling like you've finally achieved your goal, your end goal. Because we knew the Youth Olympics was, was, was like the end of this year. And we knew that it was obviously something Yeah, oh, it was incredible. So you, I think you have boxing in your blood. I think that's fair to say, Caroline. Um, your your twenty one year old brother Daniel is a heavyweight yeah. boxer, and, and you've also got a younger brother who's uh, mm-hmm. who's in the ring as well. Is that how you got into the sport? Is it? Did, were you looking up to your brother and and wanting to get in the ring? Yeah, definitely. When, when he came home from these um, fights and tournaments, he would always bring on these videos of the fights and I would be watching it. Yeah, and how often do you train, Caroline? I know you said you've already trained today, so how many days a week do you train? I train like five, six days a week. Coming up to a competition, it obviously gets more intense. Um, prior to a competition, when we've got a long, long, long uh, period of rest, then the training is more like um, <clears throat> spread out and not as intense. But coming up to a fight, then I'll definitely like, up the workload, I'll train three, two, two three times a day. Oh, wow. six, six times a week. So do you get to train with your brother? Um, do you help each other out? We go running in the morning and, and sometimes train with our dad at like a normal gym. Yeah, so yeah, I read that your, your dad helps you train as well outside your boxing club. And uh, very similarly to you, my dad is my coach as well. How do yeah. you find training with your dad? Um, I find it's, it's, it's good because he definitely pushes you, but it's, it's also good because since you're with him on a daily day basis, he's, he's around you all the time. You can see when you need a rest. Like, there's times when he said, oh, Karen, you look tired. And you obviously need to take a break compared to like someone that doesn't train with you. It's, 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 it's not always all around you. They can't see that. They can't see who you are like on a daily day basis. So they don't know when you're, you're not feeling 100% or when you are and when you're shining. And, like, my dad's definitely a great to have, to have around. Oh, that's amazing. Yeah, it is, it's the case, isn't it? Your dad has your best interest at heart, so he knows what's best for you as well. Yeah. Now, Caroline, not only were you crowned champion at the Youth Olympics, but you've also won the 60 kilo British and European gold medals. What would you consider your greatest achievement? Um, and, and what's next for you? I found, I found that winning the World Championships definitely meant more to me And um, um, what what's coming up next for you? So basically, um, I've got the nationals in January, which is what we have to do every year to qualify to get back on the England team. And then I'm going to go in the nationals after winning that. Hopefully, I'll go to the Europeans. You spoke there a little bit about being nervous um, in in the world. How do yeah. you deal with your nerves? Um, it's weird. The fourth, like the day before fight. Kind of, that's when normally the nerves like kick off and you you get really nervous. But on the fight day, you just get like a strange calm, like the way, and then you see the girl. You prepare yourself mentally to get into the ring. The only time that you really actually feel really nervous is before the fight, just before you're walking in, and you're there standing right beside the person. You, you just you can't wait to get into the ring because as soon as the bell goes, it's, it's gone. All the mel- all the nerves just melt away. Yeah. And you talked about walking into the ring there. So Anthony Joshua is known for having his incredible walkout music when he walks uh, into his fights at the O2. 
So if you were fighting in the O2, what artist and song would you want to walk out to? I know my dad would definitely want me to walk out to see Caroline. Yeah. But I, I would like to walk out to um, uh, Lyrical Gangster. Okay. Oh, yeah. amazing. I like it. I like it. And, and, and Caroline, your long-term goals, is it 2020 Olympics? Is Tokyo in your sights? Or, or do you want, would you want to turn pro? Or what? Um, well, I would definitely want to go to the 2020 Olympics. That's definitely something that's in my sights. I'm very achievable and, and hopefully... Okay, like, get to that one. Yeah. Then after that, hopefully win a gold medal. Then go on to go and like make a name for myself in Paralympics, definitely because I want to create a career for myself and not just that, but create a legacy that when I finish with golf from the sport, people remember me as a, yeah. as a good fighter as well. I'm honestly, Caroline. I think that people are remembering you already. You're building that <laughs> legacy. Um, yeah. And so, who do you look up to? Because you've be, you've recently been named as one of the contenders for Sports Aid's One to Watch yeah. Award. So you're yeah. an inspiration to lots of young women yourself. But who do you look up to for inspiration? Um, there's this American girl called Kirsten Shields. I'm not sure if you've heard of her. Yeah. But she's she went to the Olympics when she was 17 years old. Yeah. She won gold, and then she went to the next Olympics and won gold again. And what she's done, she's like. I remember watching her in 2012, I didn't even know who she was, but I was thinking, oh, she's very popular. Yeah. And then when a documentary came out and you get to hear more of her story and all the struggles that she had become, overcome just to get where she was, to be able to go to the Olympics when you're only 17 years old and compete against, like, big grown women of 30, yeah. twice as maybe even old enough to be, like, your mother and that, just shows what level she was at. What about Nicola Adams? Do you look up to someone like her as well? Uh, she's yeah, obviously a British fighter. That was the one that we were watching in the swimming tour of Olympics. That's her and that's in jo- Joshua. Those are the two yeah. people that we all tuned in to watch. It's amazing <laughs> watching her go out and achieve her dreams. Yeah. And I think that, that was definitely, she's definitely another one that I look up to as well. So, um, women in sport is a huge movement at the moment. And a lot of girls wouldn't think of taking up boxing. But what advice would you give to any girls who would like to give it a try? Exactly, right? Now, Caroline, I need your help a little bit. I'm taking part in a charity boxing match soon, so have you got any advice for me? Oh, um, well, just enjoy it, because it'll be very exciting, it's going to be nerve-wracking, but when you get in the ring, it'll be be definitely worth it, and I hope you enjoy every second of it, and have a great time. Oh, thank you very much. Um, and I've got two more questions for you, Caroline. So, yeah. Conor McGregor and Floyd Mayweather had a very famous fight against each other. Yeah. Um, yeah. But would you ever consider fighting against another discipline or changing a discipline? Um, no, I don't think I'm, <laughs> I'm that sort of person. Um, fights, one from a different discipline, if they came into boxing, I would definitely want to fight someone like the way he did. That's a great way of looking at it. You have to work your way up, don't you, to the top. Yeah. Final yeah. question, Caroline. Uh, if you could meet anyone, who would you meet mm-hmm. and why? Um, I'd obviously love to see Muhammad Ali, just to see what he was like when he was young, fresh and, and so confident. And I find it like, I would just love to be in the room with him and not even talk to him, but just to listen to what he says, all the things that he's come out and see what sort of character he has. That would be amazing. I think that's a great person to want to meet because he is extremely motivational. I think whenever I'm struggling with my sport, I always yeah. watch uh, some of his 
fight and talk and it always gets me in the mood to go so Caroline thank you very very much for your time it's been great to speak to you and you truly are someone to look out for for the future and look out for in this present day thank you